I'm honored to accept the Penn Pinter International Writer of Courage Award on behalf of Rafe Badawi and his family. He should be here in person to accept the award himself, of course, but as you know, he's in prison in Saudi Arabia merely for setting up a website, Saudi Liberal Network, and daring to challenge the government in his blogs. In his own words, uh, which you can find in his book, 100 Lashes, available on Amazon and at bookstores near you, a um, little pitch to help the family, proceeds go to help Rafe. Um, in his own words, I wanted to break the walls of ignorance to shatter the sacredness of religious clerics. I wanted to advocate for change and respect for freedom of speech, to call for women and minorities' rights, and the rights of the indigent in Saudi Arabia. Rafe Badawi was arrested in 2012 for insulting Islam through electronic channels and prosecuted on several charges, including apostasy. Badawi was sentenced first to seven years in prison and 600 lashes in 2013. Last year, the appeals court increased the punishment to 10 years and 1,000 lashes. The sentence has been upheld by the Supreme Court. Badawi was publicly flogged on 9th of January and is due to face 19 further sessions of 50 lashes each. Even on his release, he will be forbidden from traveling or using any media for 10 years. I hope that this award, in memory of one of this country's greatest writers, who was not afraid to speak out for human rights, will help bring freedom to Rafe Badawi. I founded the Jimmy Wales Foundation for Freedom of Expression in order to help every single person in the world to have a voice. The Jimmy Wales Foundation encourages activists worldwide to fight for the inherent fundamental freedom of every person to be able to hold their own opinions and freely express their thoughts, beliefs, and ideas through any medium and regardless of frontiers without any interference and fear. The Jimmy Wales Foundation exists for people like Rafe Badawi who choose to use words instead of violence to fight for a change. Rafe peacefully gave a voice to the silenced people of his country. In return, the Saudi government sentenced him to the cruel, violent punishment of 1,000 lashes and brutally tore him apart from his wife, Insaf, and his three young children. Rafe Badawi simply exercised his, freedom, his fundamental right for freedom of expression. No one should be held behind bars for peacefully speaking out their mind. No one should face the f cruel punishment of flogging. Rafe Badawi is a pe brave, peaceful activist, not a criminal. He should be honored, not published. The Jimmy Wales Foundation is an active member of the We Are Rafe Coalition of NGOs actively promoting Rafe Badawi's freedom. We know that our campaign has rattled the Saudi government, and that's a good start. The Saudi embassy in London said this summer that it had no tolerance, quote, for foreign entities meddling in the kingdom's internal affairs, and that it would not put up with such outrageous, ridiculous interference in its sovereign criminal justice system. I don't care. We're going to continue to interfere. Uh, I call on all of us, everyone, to continue to interfere. This is a criminal justice system that beheads and flogs protesters, critics, and dissidents, including condemning a 17-year-old pro-democracy activist to crucifixion and sanctioning more than 100 beheadings this year alone. And here's the important part uh, for those of us who live here in the UK, and we wonder what can we do about this. This is the criminal justice system that the British government is currently seeking to support by selling our Ministry of Justice training services to Saudi prisons in a 5.9 million pound commercial deal. It is a regime which the Home Office, as we discovered last week, has a memorandum of understanding offering security and policing expertise to the Ministry of Interior of Saudi Arabia. It is a dictatorship the UK appears to have supported in its election to the United Nations Human Rights Council in a backroom deal according to documents passed to WikiLeaks this summer. The Foreign Office has condemned Rafe Badawi's sentence but said that it would be interfering for the government to comment on Saudi's judicial process. Foreign Affairs Minister Baroness Annale has even said that, quote, the Saudi government in these respects have the support of the vast majority of the Saudi population. Wonder, one wonders how she knows when the price for expressing what you think in Saudi Arabia is so very high, as Rafe Badawi is aware. Last week, the Foreign Office actually admitted that human rights are no longer a top priority. What the Foreign Office likes to call the prosperity agenda in terms of wealth rather than well-being is now a more urgent concern. Saudi Arabia is the UK's biggest trading partner in the region. It is time for the government to show moral leadership, to demonstrate that its support for human rights is more than rhetoric, and to use the very considerable influence it has on the regime and win the freedom of Rafe Badawi and all other political prisoners of conscience. Rafe Badawi's wife, Insaf Haidar, now has political asylum in Canada with the couple's three children. It is my pleasure to introduce a short message from her in Arabic. <laughs> 